Hi friends, thanks for watching. In this video, I'll show you how to edit a form in Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. Let's get started. I'm here at make.powerapps.com because of course Dynamics 365 sits on top of Power Apps and that's where you make your customizations. I've built out a table called Property and you've got the different columns that you see here. If you wanna know how I built this out, check out the video linked here. Now that we have the table and columns, we need a user interface or form that the users can interact with. If you click on Forms, and then under Form Type, make sure you're on Main, and then select Information. Here in the Form Designer, you probably want to zoom in a little bit down here on the bottom, just so things are a little bit more visible. You can also change the device type over here if you're working with a tablet or a phone, for example. We'll leave it at Desktop. But for starters, we have the name column and owner. These are given to us by default, but we added some additional columns of our own here under table columns, and we want these to show up on the form as well. Now, right now, everything is just displayed in a single column going down the page. And this is a section. It's basically a container for the different columns, different fields on your form. Let's say we want to split that into two different columns, something like that. This will be more obvious once we drag the other fields over, but that's two columns now. So let's start dragging over some of these new fields that we've created. We already have names, so we'll just leave that there. But property type, we'll drag that over, just pick it up, drag and drop where that line is. Perfect. And let's also put address here. Scrolling over to the right, to this other section column, let's drag over square footage. Now it's a little bit more obvious we have that second column there. We want floors, number of floors for the property, year built, and then we also want the listing agent that's going to allow us to browse to a contact. Now we do have picture here for the house, but because we said that's the primary image when we created that, you don't actually need to drag that onto the form. We'll be able to upload that a different way, and I'll show you that when we get that far. But for now, let's click Save and Publish. You can also just click on Publish. That'll save your changes. Basically push them to the database so other users can view them. All right, when that's done, let's back up. And the next thing we need to work on is the sitemap. If you're not familiar with that, let me come into the end user UI. That's gonna be the left navigation here. And we need a way to display our properties. So to edit that, you actually need to edit the app. I'll click on Apps here. Select the app and then say Edit. If you just click on Edit here, this will take you into the Classic Designer. But if you click on the little down arrow here, Edit in Preview, this is the Modern Designer, which is the one that I prefer. It more closely matches the Form Designer that we just saw. Over here on the left, let me expand this. And if we click down on Navigation, Here's where we can add new groups and sub areas to display those properties. Let me expand sales. And you'll see here my work, for example, this is called a group and you'll see where that matches up in the sitemap. We've got customers in the sitemap as well. So we need a new one of these groups. Make sure you click on sales up here at the top level and then click add group. This one we'll call tiny Realty, and we got added at the bottom here. So if you click on this, move up, might need to do that a few times to get it up towards the top. We're gonna put it right here under my work. It's not actually gonna show up though until you put a sub area under it, which is the table. Leave it selected though and say add sub area. And this will connect our table which is gonna be property to the UI. There's actually a built-in property as well. I just happen to know that the second option is the one that I created. So I'll select that and click add. Now here in the preview, you'll see that we've got tiny realty and properties. All right, let's publish. Once that's done, come back to the end user UI, which I've got open. If you don't have that open though, you can click on the play button here and that'll open it up for you. But make sure you refresh. And here we've got Tiny Realty and Properties. Let's click on that. We don't have any properties at the moment, so we'll say New. 
and I'll do some basic data entry here. So name of this property, we'll say Bella Vista. Property type will be single family. 987 Ocean View Lane. Square footage, we'll say 1892. Floors, choose from our options here, two floors. Year built will go with 2010. And then listing agent, this is going to browse to the contact table. And we have lots of good sample data in there. I'll just choose Adrian here. Go ahead and save. You can either do that up on the top or hit Control S. And then I want to show you how to upload that picture. So if you come up here and click on the icon, this will let you choose the primary image for this property. Let me upload image. And here I've got a picture of a house. I'll select that and click Change. And now it shows up as the primary image. Okay, that's it. That's how to customize forms in Dynamics 365 slash Power Apps. If you want to learn more about Dynamics 365, check out my playlist, and be sure to subscribe so you get notified when I upload new things. Much appreciated.